Did you actually know that if you have around $850, you can get a gaming PC build for 4K resolution? As crazy as it sounds, yes, for this amount of money, you can get a system that will run 4K gaming 60 plus FPS average with no issues. Now, the crazy part is that for 1440p, you will be able to get really high FPS. So whether you're looking for a 1440p high refresh rate monitor or you want to start playing at 4K, this PC is going to be the right one for you if you have under $900. If you are new to PCs, don't worry because I will explain everything as simple as possible. That way there's no misunderstanding when it comes to this gaming PC performance and you will have the link to all of these components down below in the video description with alternatives that I will mention throughout this video. That being said, let's start. With the first component we have the CPU in the AMD Ryzen 5 5600. I do recommend this CPU for any budget PC out there, even though this one is now the cheapest PC at around 850 bucks. The Ryzen 5 is still our best option. This is a 6 core 12 thread processor that will get the job done even at 4K resolution. For the motherboard, we have the Gigabyte B550M, the S3H Micro ATX motherboard. This is nothing too crazy. It's gonna get the job done for gaming and for your needs, especially at this price point, it's only 90 bucks and it comes with enough features. For the memory kit, we have the Silicon Power Gaming 16 gigs of RAM kit, 2x8 of DDR4 at 3200 megahertz. You can go ahead and buy a more expensive kit for 32 gigs if you want 32 gigs of RAM. That will give you an advantage for streaming especially or content creation but it's gonna come at a premium so if you're willing to spend around 20 to 30 extra bucks feel free to do so for the storage we have the team group mp33 one terabyte of gen 3 ssd there's no difference between gen 3 and gen 4 when it comes to gaming and honestly i'm trying to save as much money as possible here but if you want to spend around 10 to 20 extra dollars you can get gen 4 ssd if that's something you're searching for. Then for the graphics card and the most important component on a gaming PC, we have the Radeon RX 6800 going for $450. This GPU is capable of 1440p really high FPS, but also capable of 4K resolution gaming on high quality settings, 60 plus FPS on average. And if you're looking to run esports titles such as Valorant or Fortnite or a game like CSGO, these games you will be able to run at above 240 FPS even at 4k resolution so yes if you're looking for a competitive advantage also a really good resolution like 4k or 1440p this graphics card is perfect for you to understand the estimated performance on an 18 game average at 4k high quality settings you're looking to get 80 plus fps on average and like i said we are talking about 4k high quality settings so there are a bunch of titles where if you lower the settings just a tiny bit you will be able to get a hungry plus fps which is insane considering the price of this whole PC build. And then if you're looking to play at 1440p on the same 18 game average at 1440p high quality settings, it was able to manage 143 FPS, which is really high considering we are talking about high settings. So basically there's no game that you can't run at 1440p really high FPS on high settings. And for 4K, of course, there are going to be better GPUs out there like the RX 7900 XTX or the RTX 4080, RTX 4090, but those GPUs are way more expensive and you're looking to spend at least $1,500 on the whole PC build if you want a GPU like that. Here we are talking about under $900 and getting a great performance for 4K resolution and 1440p as well. Another important thing is that the RX 6800 comes with 16 gigs of VRAM so you have no VRAM limitations for 4K nor 1440p. If you are new to PCs, basically for the latest AAA titles, you need at least 8 gigs of VRAM for 1080p, 10 gigs of VRAM for 1440p, and 12 gigs of VRAM for 4K. This is the minimum I would recommend. Well, the 6800 has 4 extra gigs of VRAM for 4K resolution, let alone 1440p or 1080p gaming. Talking about 1080p, on that same 18 game average, high to ultra settings, it was able to manage 180 FPS on average, which is really, really high. But if you're going to buy this system, I do recommend you at least a 1440p monitor. If you want a 1080p one, sure, go ahead. I just do not recommend it. I think that it will be a waste of money. Then for the case, and the case is really important because of the airflow, we have the Fractal Design Focus 2 RGB ATX mid tower case. This one is going for just $54 or new egg. It comes with three pre install fans on the front also a front mesh panel really clean looking airflow i absolutely love this one and the price is really good by the time i'm recording this video now it doesn't come with an exhaust fan 
so I added one in the ADATA Bento RGB 120 fan going for just $10. If you want to save 10 bucks, you can leave without an exhaust fan and it's going to be completely fine. For the power supply, we have the Thermaltake Tough Power GX2, 600 watt, 80 plus core power supply. This is CTU rated, okay quality, and you will have no issues with it. The power supply market is really expensive, unfortunately, and you're spending $67 for this PSU unit. But if you spend anything less than that, you're risking your whole PC build right now. Now, the total price for this system by the time I'm recording this video is $875 and I know I said $850 I do not recommend you cutting corners in any way here because this is the minimum PC I would get around the RX 6800 but if you really want to go down to $855 bucks, the only thing that you can downgrade is the case and go with the Fractal Design Focus G Mini if you make this downgrade the total price will be around $855 bucks. you get a case that has a front mesh panel decent airflow but it doesn't look as good to me as the other case case this one is more of an old-fashioned looking case but if you like it and you're fine with it just go with this one you save around 20 bucks but i would strongly recommend spending those extra 20 and getting the other case it looks fantastic in my opinion way nicer than the other one and you also get an extra case fan for the exhaust one Overall, even if you spend $875, you're getting a great system that will not disappoint you at 1440p or 4K resolution. Now, if you are working with a tight budget, but you're looking for a pro PC, you don't want to build it yourself. So I completely understand you if this is your case. For that reason, I recommend you watching my video about the best budget pro PCs of the month in the top right of the screen, where you have PCs for under $1,000. And if you have any questions about this PC build, let me know in the comment section. I will try to reply as fast as possible. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.